Hello, my Scorpios, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. And of course, I'm Debbie. Anyway, I am reading for May 5th through May 11th, 5 5 through 5 11. Interesting. And I want to remind you that these are general readings, may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. Although I've done an overview video, God wins watch it. Okay. My Scorpios. Oh, has things been a struggle for you lately? I don't know. I just feel like you're being, you, you, there's this part of you that knows what needs to be done that knows, you know, I feel like you're fighting a destiny. How's that? Does that make sense? It's like, there's not, I'm not saying all of you because there's some very, um, there's some Scorpios that really are very spiritual and they're flowing with that destiny. But then I think there's the other ones that are like, I want to do this. And I'm not going to do that. So I feel like there's many Scorpios, the ones that maybe, maybe are a little bit more earthly bound, um, that it's like, you know, I want what I want, what I want, instead of going with the flow. Now, there are those Scorpios, though, that are so spiritually connected, they know where they're supposed to be going. Anyway, new moon in Taurus. Oh, the card has slid down new moon in Taurus says know your worth and we do have a new moon coming up anyway one card just kind of slid down um you know there is it, it's like once you once you kind of once you connect you know this is where it's like once you kind of say okay I'm going to go with it things are just going to open up and you're going to find many Scorpios that you know are doing that it's like no once once that connection is made what is the connection I would say with God's source higher power once that's connection and stop instead of fighting it it's like things just start flowing that much better okay so so don't fight don't fight your destiny my Scorpios okay now let's see what we have higher power Holy Spirit what do you want to say to your Scorpios what do you want to say to your Scorpios one card has fallen let's see what the other ones that we choose are here we go here we go Okay, this is the one that kind of flew out. Let's see what we have here. First card is the Ace of Earth. This is a wonderful, wonderful Earth energy for you. One is a new beginning, new start. Earth is our Capricorn, our Taurus, our Virgo. We are in Taurus right now. Taurus is, is your mirror. We just had that Scorpio full moon. Or, um, we also, like I said, Virgo too. Money, job, career, even your home. Some of my cards will say this is your lucky day. This is a card where there is a new job coming. There is a new business coming. There is a new way of making money coming for you. Okay? Again, I feel like don't fight it. Don't fight your destiny, my Scorpios. Let things flow. The inflow of abundance, a promising business venture, important documents or contracts. Now, I'm always saying with those, you know, get a lawyer or get someone, you know, that can watch to make sure, protect your interests a little bit, okay? Your next card is the five of earth. So now we go from this new opportunity to this worry about money. Can I do this? Can I do this? Can I do this? I keep hearing this. Can I do this? Can I do this? So maybe what's going on? So five is about change, earth energy again. Maybe you're being offered some, a possibility or, a, um, I'm sorry, you're get, being offered an opportunity and you're just now that, you know, you're like, well, can I even do this? Can I do the job? Oh, Scorpios, you can definitely do the job. If you dedicate, and, you know, it, if this is your, this is your, this is a destiny energy here. And, you know, and anywhere, you know, again, anywhere God brings you to, God brings you through. Okay. So the five of earth has some change in money, change in earth energies. Now, it could even be, normally it'll say something on the negative side, but it could even be a very positive change for you in that money energy. Fear surrounding money, the wisdom to accept help from others, uncertain self-employment. Well, with this card, it's not going to be uncertain anymore, but do you accept it? Do you accept it? Do you not? Do you go, you know, are you still fighting? Are you still fighting it? Two of water. Now, water energy, your energy. Um, it's also Cancer. It's also Pisces energy, flowing, emotional, spiritual. Remember, Pisces has, there's something going on with um, Saturn. So there's some rules energy going on with that. Saturn is in Pisces. So there is that flowing, that emotional, that spiritual. Two is crossroads, choices, decisions. So you will have a choice in what it is. 
But the two of water is a loving cup. The two of water is somebody standing at your side, supporting you. The two of water is finding a passion in whatever it is you're doing, okay? So I love this. You've got this really good start. You've got some worries. Can I do it? Can I do it? Well, you've got people or you've got someone that loves you or someone that cares about you. Or even this is your guardian angel, your source that is saying, yes, yes, you are, you have more than the opportunity, you have more than the abilities to do this. A relationship that continues to grow closer, forgiveness, the power, the positive resolution of a conflict. I love it. Choose a crossroads, choices, decisions, partnerships. So you've got stuff happening. Don't be afraid to, don't be afraid of your destiny, my Scorpios. Okay. Like I said, God brings you to, God brings you through. Okay. Here we go. Let's see. Higher power and Holy Spirit. What other words do you have or what other card do you have for your for your Scorpio? Rest and rejuvenate. Let things happen. Stop fighting. Four is our stability organization leadership. This is the four of air. So you have that air energy, um, cancer, I'm sorry, um, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, uh, thought processes, thinking things through, making plans. It's also about hearing news. So you could be, so just once you do what you do, once you say yes, okay, you know, God, bring me to it, bring me to it, bring me to it, then let, just let God, let God do God's work, okay? Rest, rejuvenate, get yourself ready because something's about to change. All right. Let's see what we have here. Higher power, Holy Spirit again. What do you want to say to our Scorpios? To your Scorpios. Your Scorpios. These are your Scorpios. I'm share I do not mean to share in your glory. Your Scorpios. Your Scorpios. Here we go. Quiet retreat. Now that's interesting that these would come together. It's time to disconnect from the outer world so that you can discern and process your true thoughts and feelings from your inner world. Create this quiet time for yourself and you'll have more clarity about what to do next. Well, yeah. Okay, let's see what else we have here. What else do we have for our Scor for your Scorpios, for your Scorpios, <laughs> your Scorpios. Okay, flying out. Card is flying out. Here we go. Whew. Oh, moonstone. Oh, moonstone. And remember, we have the moon, the new moon. Are you in tune with the phases of the moon? Do you acknowledge your own cycles? Trust that your feminine side has much to offer. Whether you, whether you masculine, feminine, but there, we all have both sides. Go within and receive inspiration from the divine feminine. Your feelings and intuition speak the truth. Listen, listen, wow. So angel of the divine feminine, I honor the phases of the moon and I am aligned with the natural cycles of all life. My feelings are valid. I receive and use my intuitive insights. I trust my inner knowing and act on my feelings with confidence. Now remember, New moon is a new start. There's new starts. Moonstone. Interesting. Know your worth. Let's see. What other message for Scorpio? For your Scorpios. What other message for your Scorpios? Your Scorpios. Your Scorpios. Okay. Full moon in Pisces. Forgive. Okay, Ooh, what are you holding? Forgive. Forgive, Scorpios. All right. Interesting. Okay, a very interesting reading. A lot of nuances there. Let me know what you think. Did it meet? Did it not? It's okay either way. Okay, do me my favor, my Scorpio. Whether it met or not, please go down and do the like, share, subscribe. Click on the bell for notifications. It does help me. I put time into this, so please, please put time in doing that, whether you are watching me on YouTube or Rumble. As always, my Scorpios, always know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.